Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I think I'll put the video after. Um, we have two of our graduates. This is our last company visit. Company number 16. I know it's just the best for last one. Right? That's right. So <laughs> we have two of our recent graduates, um, Alison and Bryce. They're going to be to impress you all. And I'm more important to tell you about your point. This is, I think, the third annual of the year. Um, so they've been showing their presence of the entries of my two of the graduates, uh, the info, the employee, and I'm talking about that we want. But thanks for, thanks for everything. Thank you for bringing the food. Appreciate it very much. And if you want to stay longer than the, I'm supposed to, if you want to, you can go ahead. What's the, what's the, I, I can do it. Um, can we go back to the first one? So we're GeoPoint. Um, my name's Bryce. I graduated in 22. Bryce graduated in 21. So we're excited to be back. Thank you for having us. Pretty much GeoPoint started. Um, Post World War II, and it's kind of evolved through the years. We've had several different names. We've been Hyatt and Associates, Hyatt Engineering, and eventually, you know, the big crash in 2008. I split from GeoPoint. The surveyors went one way, the engineers went the other way. So GeoPoint has actually only been a company since 2009, but now we started with five employees. Now we have 325 employees with several offices all across the state, and we have one office in South Carolina. This is a price scattered around the state. Uh, our headquarters is in Tampa. We're out of the Freeport office. Uh, we serve in Georgia, Alabama, and Texas. We seem to be Tennessee, so we're trying to branch it out, but pretty much if you wanted to work in Florida, we cover everything. Right. And we've got a big home building client, Minto. They kind of take us everywhere they go. They're real big for their latitude margin uh, developments. That's kind of how we ended up in uh, Freeport and West Palm. And as Addison said, they're kind of moving to different states and I'm doing the things. Um, so primarily what we do is big land development, which is pretty rare for a standalone surveying company to do land development without in-house civil engineers. But we do kind of have a sister company high, you know, that we split from. So we kind of go with them where they go as well. Um, construction support. So one of the big things that we do is, and you'll see later, we do a lot of uh, commercial development in Tampa, um, Amazon warehouses, the Tampa Bay um, Buccaneer practice facilities, things like that. We also have a suit department, and uh, I apologize, me and Addison are not very well versed on that, but 811, think 811 locates, that's our good part. Um, we also have a remote sensing LIDAR. Uh, we'll get into some of that. And we're also scratching the surface with our audience. Okay. Yeah. This is just an example of the boundary survey. It's the full uh, township that we ran out, that we ran out um, for the plane development. Uh, I don't know when you do this one. A couple years ago, but when we say we do big boundary surveys versus somebody else, somebody else is talking probably. 500 to 1,000 acres. This was 20,000 plus acres. The North Line on this survey was 12 miles long. So we say big boundary. We, we pretty much mean it. The only thing bigger is Air Force bases or if you get some kind of State Department, you know, park work. So there's really not many people that do bigger stuff than this. This is just a uh, Topo survey that we did for um, Baytown Utilities. I think they're going to build a fire department here. So we have a very strong working relationship with a lot of municipalities, and those are um, clients that we try to keep happy because when the well runs dry, they typically always have money because they take it from our paycheck every week. Uh, 
It's an example of a tree survey. I know our parameter cut point size to get killed out in five trees and whatnot. Uh, so certain uh, cities around us have certain restrictions on size of trees that have to be located and you have to replace it if you remove it and this and that. So we put an example of from the tree survey that we've done recently. Um, our planning services is also something that really sets us apart. I think in the state of Florida for the calendar year of 2024, we've probably done over a thousand. So, I mean, you're talking about a hundred thousand lots potentially a year. This is this is one that uh, some of the rumors I've just been when it got reported this past week. It's like 14 page survey. So, that's one of our. Uh, one of the biggest ones they've done. So this is one thing we have that is pretty much continuously evolving as these big home developers are building. They'll, you know, have like this is a uh, lab two to work down area one page high. We started with page one, two, three, B, three C, three B, four, four B, four C. So it's pretty much a continuously operating um process. Some of the construction services we do is uh Basically, anything civil related is where it starts. We'll stake out silt fence for their clearing limits. Uh, then, once they have everything cleared, we'll lay out all their storm and water. Uh, and then, ask for everything, too, so that everybody knows where it's at further down the road if you ever need it. Um, the other side of construction stuff, we do a lot of home building. Like I said, we have good partners like Minto um, up in our office, and we do all of their uh, plot plans. Their uh, foundation surveys, their finals, um, you name it. Um, elevation certificates are big in Florida, so uh, there's just about every lot you can think of. It's going to need some sort of elevation survey if you're going to be near water. And this is one thing that pretty much keeps us in these developments for so long. We'll start from the initial boundary topo when it goes to design. We'll go through the design phase. We'll take out all the roads, the curb, all the utilities, and then Whole building will come in and they'll start. And obviously, we have this list that we pretty much do with all of our developments. It starts with the plot plans, stake out, more board checks, surveys, foundations, and then pretty much we'll be there for the first ones in, last ones out. I know you guys do that a lot, but really, I think that's one thing that separates us from a lot of other companies. We really do that. I think a lot of other companies, they're kind of they're in, they're out, they're in, they're out, but we pretty much stay with these developments from the beginning. So, like Ross said, we're scratching the surface in the GIS stuff. Uh, I'm going to show a few examples where uh, this is a this is Tampa. All these blue lines are all the water lines in Tampa. So we have a good partnership with the city of Tampa, and we do all their 811 uh, locations and stuff. So if there's ever a problem that arises, we can look, see if we already have something. Uh, that would help us speed the process up of getting the problem solved. A um, couple others I'm going to show. Uh, no, I'll show you all before. So, this is all of our jobs. They're in the process of still putting them in, but as you can see, we put the majority of Tampa covered. Um, and a cool thing about this is if you come in here and click on it, it tell you that's on our feed, it was our project. It'll tell you anything about. Where that folder is, it has anything that has to do with that project. So if you were right down the road, you don't have to start from scratch. You already have control or anything else that you might possibly need. Um, so uh, they just started putting them in more. We're over here in West Palm. You can see there's some jobs already starting to pop up. Uh, Daytona Beach, there's a big development there. But uh, and then this is what I was showing. So this is a database of all the sections sections in uh in the state of Florida. So we're up here in that that survey Bryce was talking about that was uh 12 miles wide at or 12 miles long on the north line. It started somewhere in here and it ends basically at the bay. So uh pretty interesting to tell you you can click on it tells you which county range section it is. And then you can also overlay these if you wanted to if you were working like um yeah, I think one thing we're doing too, are you guys familiar with Lavins or the um, Alabama version? Oh. Yes. So basically, it's it's a database where all these surveyors come in when they find second corners, quarter corners, things like that. They can go report their findings online. 
and pretty much we're going to have an in-house version of that. And the state of Florida is so much better than Alabama because Alabama is really in its infancy. It's only been around a few years. Um, but having something in-house, like Addison said, it saves you so much time and money not having to remember off your brain where, you, where you've been, where you've worked before. Well, you're talking about what you did the federal with it, right? Yes. Okay. What, what they want to do, from what I've heard, is they're going to take the CCR form, the certified corner record, download them, put them on uh, our web base. Like Brian said, we're not very well versed in the food department, but um, it's uh, like I showed you all the GIS taking a go. It's the uh, Tampa Bay Water Authority. We have a good contract with them, a good relationship with them that uh, like can come in here and click on this uh, the water valve or on this water line. So like all those water lines that are there, we either located or been sent to us by the city. So if they ever have an issue in any area, we can go and uh, establish where, narrow down where uh, the closest shutoff may be if you're having a completely closed spot or something like that. Yeah, Brian, you want to talk about that? Yes, sir. So we have a couple guys that work on it. Uh, Pretty much responsible. Yes, we're actually looking for someone to run our department. So, if any of you have got a patient, it's something. Thank you all, Mike. There's some of our projects that, uh, correct you, Carl, I know. There's some of our bigger projects. Um, the one on the top right is the Latin City Margaritaville Water Town, which, if you guys have driven to Panama City Beach lately, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, as I was talking about, the one under that. That's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility. Um, so in Tampa, we do a lot more commercial than we do in North Florida, just because the commercial market down there is a lot larger. Um, in our home office, pretty much our primary, you know, working relationships are with the home builders and the military bases. So I think one thing that's not on here that we want to talk about is um, how much work we do on base. So we have contracts with Eglin, Tyndall, and Herbert Field and Booth Field. And pretty much there are three select engineers who select architects, but we're the only select surveyor. And I believe last year they awarded $75 million in projects. So that's a lot of money coming to us. And we spend a lot of time out there doing examples of our other projects. There's a big solar farm. Do all of those. There's Amazon distribution and like like we said, residential or big on land development. Um, I know equipment's probably a big thing for y'all. We pretty much every crew has either a F-150 or F-250. We have a hundred trucks, I think. They're all black, but two, one, two are white for some reason. So they all can buy a Um, We have boats, we have drones, we've got um, three or four D Gunnematics. I think we can make a lot. This is kind of, you know, tell about the hairs. Oh, it's some of the GPR stuff and drone boats. And the drone hairs are, uh, are it's a heavy, uh, heavy lift <laughs> drone. It runs our a lot of our package, and they're actually at State of Tampa. They're coming up tomorrow to fly a few hundred acres uh, for this new project. It's about to be called. Yeah. It's a Harris Aerial with the Regal um, Mini Bucks. It is uh, it's also the hybrid, so you can run battery power or gas power. So, depending on how much weight you're carrying, which with a lot of our package are just under the legal limit, uh, you can. With something a little less, you can keep it in here for about two hours. Um, I'm pretty sure all crews have Trimble EPS units of some kind, whether that's R10 or R12. They all have Trimble robots. We have a select few of digital levels, and everybody has an automatic level. I think most of those are Sophia. Um, we're actually moving 
a lot of our crew from the big Ranger 7s, the uh, TSC 7s to the TDC 600s, which are about the size of a ball. They're pretty uh, clean. Mm -hmm. Like this back plane to the suit stuff. So we have actually three vacuum trucks for uh basically it's a uh, it digs for you. And when you call 811, if there's something that's located under there and you're not sure what it is, you can get this vacuum truck and all it does is straight up vacuum the dirt away so you can identify whatever's there. Um it's pretty useful. We have a we have a Sioux manager in our office. We're trying to in our office trying to get our Sioux off the ground. Um we're pre DO, pre DOT qualified. Or certified, so um, we don't get into the DOT aspect a lot, but the availability is there. I don't think it's everything. It's not never a bad thing to have. Okay. Well, I'm turning on the hit. I always enjoy seeing how things work. So take things apart. Now the toys are just a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. Joe, I'm the director of North Florida Operations for Chief One Survey. January 2020, we opened up the Panama City office of new stock in support of one of the largest land development projects in North America. Uh, the Bay Bolton sector is slated for 140,000 homes, and we're happy to be a part of it. My team is a pretty diverse group. We have military vets and college grads. We've got a, a lot of great people that work for us with a lot of different kinds, you know, a lot of different knowledge and background. Our staff is really proactive and, and uses a lot of initiative to take things uh, and run with it on their own. It really makes my job a lot easier. As a kid, I always enjoyed seeing how things work. So I take things apart. Um, now the toys are just a lot bigger. And so to see land development project go from, you know, woods and or just an empty cow field to all the due diligence, finding out how the boundaries line up, uh, do the topographic survey, see how the lay of the land is, all the way through, you know, digging ponds and building pads and all the way through finished houses. Um, it's, it's really neat to see the process. So that was good. That's that's Bryce and I's boss. That's who we deal with every day. Unfortunately, couldn't tell me everything things come up. He was planning on coming, but last minute. But anyway, like you said, uh, Bay Wall and Sacred Projects played it for 140,000 homes. Thank you. I think, you. We're, I think we're less good. <laughs> so it'll probably be around until we all retire. Um, Questions. Um, mine and Addison's email, I think, in the bags. We can grow fishing bags. Yeah, uh, we got some stuff to off. Get some stars in there. Some stars will be in there. Uh, internship opportunities. If you want to intern with us, email me. We've had some HR mishaps lately. Sorry, Justin. But we pretty much clean those up. So if you guys would like to come work for us, please. Okay. Questions. What's not going? You're not full benefits. Yes. So we got 401k match. Um, percent on percent of the three, and then half for the next two. So if you put in five, they match four. Um, insurance. Uh, our insurance isn't great, but it's free for the most part. I think you're paying thirty dollars a month. For health, and then you're probably paying two to four a month for a big number. Uh, PTO start with two weeks, go to three, go to four, go to five after a certain year period, might be one to four. Thank you. Thank you. For the injuries, would you all have some sort of like department or housing site thing or something? Or? Uh, I think that's like a case by case basis where you're wanting to go, and depending on. The uh, the workload for that area you might want to do this. Um, that's how I divided the different to a point and they hired me on because I was going to school. Yeah. Um, but they'll they'll take care of you as best they can. And like I said, it's case by case.
And so uh, you'll see uh, we have a really big marketing team that big on swag. Yep, they'll put our logo on it. Yeah, but they might they put it out. Big bribery, but it's not bribery. Every whole time. Oh, y'all have a case of half table account benefits? Uh, I have an HSA account. I think it's all over. I'd be lying if I told you very much stuff. What's the most cost? I set a benchmark to uh, as a read. We have to pay for a formula. I'm trying to make it just formulas. Yeah, uh, uh, that's why you do a form board survey. Whenever it's possible, you, you tell them a lot that they need a report. Yeah. So it is true. I'm conducting work. So I've been working for three years and had our first court case come up about six months ago. So we're not in court. We're basically the third party between two sort of airs. Somebody do a housing bar that's flooding on the beach. Yeah, on 38, so you're talking about $15 million on home. So even if you don't go to court, they're going to come ask you to figure out what's wrong. Yeah. I think it all depends, you know. If you all try to come to work in our office, probably wouldn't work, but if you wanted to go to Tampa, South Carolina, or wherever you want to go, we'd probably go Probably work to do an office, okay. depending on how you want to do the same. Would y'all do internships or like, I don't know, something over spring break, just do a week and see what y'all are like, something like that? We probably wouldn't be able to pay you without COVID, so. All week. Yeah. Each on our payroll for a week, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, if you came and work this summer and then you want to come back for spring break the next year, I said that's what I did. I worked uh, summer break or did my internship through the summer and during the Christmas break. I worked uh, I think it was three weeks with them, and then that's whenever I uh, started talking full time position because I was graduating. Great. How many weeks do you want to have for the winter break? Like thirty money. Thirty nine. Thirty. 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 Christmas. Pretty much our whole office takes off all around the week of yeah, Christmas and the week of New Year. We're not it's it's real big around the office. Don't be closed, but not many people. But they all the bills? No. Which sometimes you wish you were. We can go out once a week, once every two weeks. We're out of our office. We're the eleventh crew. I guess we call us. We have 10 full time crews. What do they have y'all doing? What? What do they have y'all doing? Uh, like, I just finished that phase nine flat. I was just showing y'all. It got recorded. And actually, yesterday, last night, I was working and uh, I finished another flat. So, you know, pretty much the survey you saw here, I did it. Are y'all waiting to sit the office today? I'll take mine next month. I go for a year after Bryce, but. Uh, I'll take off the other spring. But yeah, yeah, we just graduated a few years ago. So if you guys have any questions, like it's just we ask top questions, throw them out. So pretty new. So when you are doing that, the big exam, you did it yourself? Oh, yes. But they I'll take them. the FS as soon as possible. The PS is kind of up in there. Okay. Did you come to the end of your exam? Yes, yeah. I'll continue to pay for it. pay for it. continued education. Continued education. So, if like, you want to take a course, we have a lot of courses. Like, 
now because they've been purchased before. Um, but if there's like one you want to pay, for, if they see the benefit in getting it, we have turned over the summer. We're going to take the best of the year. I didn't want anything out know. like that. But, um, what uh, what is like what time on the career path like look like for y'all like we're talking things gradually or like so I guess like a rough schedule when you leave here and well whenever I was in school I I was doing all my classes in the spring but I did my second internship so they hired me full time right at the end of spring and I just graduated till end of August or whatever summer graduation is um so technically. The term they use is responsible charge for your four years. Um, so my boss, I was pretty cheap right after I graduated, since I already had a little bit of experience. My responsible charge started here. So I was in the year, or I was in the field for a full year, and then I was like half and half for six months or so, and now I'm pretty much in the office. And I, um, like I said, I can't take my state test until about this coming fall, but the next fall or next summer. I guess technically. But I'm trying to go into my PS done next spring. And uh, I mean, I kind of wish I would have done it right after because now I'm having to get back in the flow of studying. But it is what it is. Did I come on this Friday and stuff? I don't know when you have. We have a need for space, man. You always know that. Yeah, I have. I've seen a need for graduate studies in the United States, and I've been working on the two, so What's your company? Do you want to go to Auburn? I think they paid um, for two master's degrees, but they both go on the two. So, our, the director, Joe, the video y'all saw, he was a Florida graduate, but been surveying for, I don't know, 16 years or so before he went to Florida. Got his degree, and then just recently they paid for him to get his master's in business. We just finished that up. Yeah, company vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. All of our everybody that's got a company vehicle, it's here you take home. Probably frowned upon if you just joy ride on the weekend. Yeah. You probably get a call or an email. <laughs> or both. <laughs> um, but and the only equipment the basic equipment, right? Oh yeah. Uh, we just uh, we uh, all that good about because we don't have three. We just bought them. Yeah, we just bought our wing for recently. Um, yeah. I've not been in that same office the whole time, but you can work in Tampa. Yeah, I've been down in Tampa a few times to work. And that was like my choice. They and like, hey, they're slow. You, or they're busy. They're behind. We need to send somebody down there. Um, we've had a crew go to South Carolina a couple times when they get swamped. Um, so, I mean, there's. So we've had like our director. He started with the West Palm office and he came in. So we we're looking to jump off to the state of something. Well, our what? Uh, where is the South Carolina office working? Hills Hills, Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> we're, actually, uh, we're getting a real office finally. We're counting job trailers right now, but they've uh, they're pouring concrete at the end of this month for our office at Freeport. So we're excited about that. But we're on some job trailers on the back side of our lot, so you just stare at the uh, orange board right now. We got it all plumbed up, waiting on the concrete guy. For that, but I'll any more questions? All right, well, thank you very thank much. You appreciate it. If you need to speak to them, you can stay back and go over Y'all work in Malta, man. Y'all work in all the code. And work at home, yeah. We have a, <laughs> have to have a pretty good. I mean, not even that, but like some products I drive, I don't take 